Hello, and welcome. I am Edwin, the digital avatar for Paraben's Electronic Evidence Examiner platform. I will be your guide as we explore the powerful, and intuitive functions, of E3. In this video we will explore how Electronic Evidence Examiner, free version, integrates with the iLeap, and A-Leap tools, developed by Alexis Brignoni. The iLeap tool, allows for parsing of logs, events, and plists from the raw iOS file system data. The A-Leap tool, allows for parsing logs, events, and protobuf from the raw Android data. You can find more information on the tools at, github.com slash abrignoni. This video demonstrates how to use the iLeap tool, with Electronic Evidence Examiner. To use the A-Leap tool, you will follow similar steps. On the Evidence tab, click, Add Evidence. Select the, Mobile Data Category and then click, iOS Artifacts Analyzer, iLeap Data Import. The Import Wizard opens, with the corresponding imported data type selected. Click, Next. You can either select the archive, with raw data for import, or a folder with the data in it. Make sure that the data source is supported by the tool, for artifacts analysis. Click Next. On the source page, click Browse, and navigate to the data source selected for import. In this example, we select the archive with parts of the iOS file system data. Click Finish, to start the import. The importing process happens in two parts. First, the data source is processed with the iLeap tool. Then the resulting files are imported to the E3 case file for analysis. Once import is complete, the case data is added to Electronic Evidence Examiner as evidence. The data consists of two parts, imported data, and analyzer logs. The imported data folder includes grids, with data parsed from the raw source, by the iLeap tool. The number, and contents, of the grids depend on the selected source file or folder. Grids might include such information as call history, mobile backup state, safari history, and more. The analyzer logs folder, contains the log files created by the iLeap tool, during data processing. These logs might be useful, in case of any errors, during import.